Hey everybody, this is like take four of me trying to do this, so hopefully it'll, it'll work this time. Um, why am I making this video? Oh, that's right. I know that that can be very frustrating when you, you're waiting for content from a YouTube creator, and uh, uh, instead of making that content, they make another video log, so it's like something shows up in your feed and you're excited and you realize it's just another boring video log where they're making excuses for not having the content done. Um, but nevertheless, I felt like it was important to, um, I guess, just check back in. Uh, just so people know that I'm not dead or have like lost uh, all motivation or I'm not going to do it because I am I'm going to do the revisited ESFJ video and the revisited ESFP video I'm going to finish that revisit series I'm a tenacious little cretin and um, uh, and other videos besides I'm working on the revisited ESFJ video, I've been working on that now, if you have been keeping track for like months and months now. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, part of the reason it's taken so long is because I've gotten sidetracked by other things that, other projects I was working on, like the Starry Laughter thing, and then also the Conflict Socionics video. I also graduated college um, and uh, switched living arrangements and have been um, undergoing some training for uh, a new job that I will be doing. And um, if you're wondering if, uh, if why I'm sniffing so much and my voice sounds weird, it's because I have terrible, terrible allergies today. Um, the reason normally I would wait until maybe I was, sorry, it's disgusting. Normally I'd wait till I was a bit more presentable, but I'm... I didn't really want to wait because I'd be kind of worried that I would just not really end up making something like this and I feel like it's important and also just for some reason it's bothered me and tonight especially and I guess I'm I'm probably just sort of looking for some kind of because I'm, I'm probably my OCD is playing into this and I'm looking for reassurance but anyway I know that People will people will appreciate it for what it is, but I just wanted to check back in and sort of explain a bit more of where I'm at with uh, with the videos in the channel and um, typology and kind of throw some things out there so that you know kind of what's going on. Um, the honestly the main problem is um, I have been I mean it's probably pretty clear by now but I've been I've totally been procrastinating the revisited the ESFJ video, and I don't like doing that. Um, the main reason that I have been, though, and I didn't realize it at first, but the reason I have been is, uh, for some reason, I've hit just some really, really hard writer's block uh, with writing the script for that video. And that's actually nothing particularly new, because actually... Um, I did the revisit the ISTJ video way back. That was like last year, um, last summer, I believe. No, I, I think even before that is when I did revisiting the ISTJ. And um, I remember when I started working on the revisiting the INFP video, for some reason, just there was a combination of factors, um, a number of them having to do with I was really struggling with um, with the OCD and other related things, and uh, thing thing you know that and combined with the schoolwork and everything, but just a variety of factors somehow combined that like I lost all this motivation, and it was actually it wasn't just motivation; it just well, it doesn't matter the details, but it actually became almost like physically difficult to write the scripts. I didn't say anything because I was determined to finish them and I don't like to complain and and I did get them done and you know it just took me longer than I would have wanted but for some reason um, maybe I did something wrong in the way that I was tr trying to put those together. I've 
you know, I don't know if I uh, totally like the structure that they've taken, but I felt like I need to still follow it. And I don't like, I, I don't hate it or think there's any problem with it because the main point is that it's just a vehicle to carry the, the information forward, the actual structure of the video. But anyway, that's just sort of a notion is that really since that revisiting the INFP, I've, for almost every video I've struggled, it's been a real struggle to get, mainly just to get the script written. Because once the script is written, then the rest of it kind of takes care of itself. I mean, it takes a, a, a long time to get it done, but it's almost more automatic because it, uh, you know, because then I'm just finding the pictures and that's a bit easier for me to to do. The, most of the heavy lifting intellectually comes with writing the scripts as could be expected. Excuse me. Let me move over here. Um, I'm such a, uh, how, how not disgusting of me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, but, so uh, I guess that's part of the reason. And, um, I don't know if the ESFJ video will really follow the same structure as the other videos. I don't quite know because I want to get it done, but for some reason I've been the writer's block or whatever it is. Um, for me, so actually what happened was that, um, for a little while, the INFP, the INTJ, and whichever one was after that, I can't remember, it might have been ENFP, um, it was, like, very difficult for me to write them, and it's kind of difficult to explain why there were a lot of different factors, but, um, I ended up making a breakthrough in therapy that actually cleared a lot of the more severe stuff up, but there's still been that sense of writer's block and the difficulty being motivated to to write those scripts. But I have so far, and I've been really I've been really glad that I have because I feel like I've learned a lot. Um, though um, I think that part of the you know, so actually I'll throw this out that um, you know. Uh, you know, I have people, people have put out, um, just like little comments here and there. I kind of try to keep up to date with what people have said that, that involves my videos because I'm really interested to know not just what's said on the channel, but what's said elsewhere so that I know how to improve or what people think for whatever it's it's worth also I just think it's interesting um, and uh, definitely one of the one of the things that I'm sure a lot of you have noticed is that uh, as, as I've progressed through the revisiting the type series um, a lot of them definitely have a lot of comparing the types together and um, very, very theory heavy, where I'm spending a lot of time to try to put out this idea, and then I try to relate the idea in. And I'm not critiquing that because that's just, that is honestly how I think, and that's how I am able to understand what does this type really mean, because I think in terms of the... Um, it's always a dynamic between what is the whole picture and then what is um, uh, the the building up of the concepts, and that's kind of how it's always been. Which is why I've always broken it down to the functions, and it's like, okay, what is these? What do these functions mean? What do these function axes mean? Um, and then when you combine them together, what are the implications, and how does this explain? how the ESTJ comes across to people and um, what people have said and so forth. I'm not quite sure where I was going with that, but um, I, I generally understand and, and even sometimes agree with a fair amount uh, critiques that have been made of I guess I shouldn't say critiques because they're mostly just sort of like comments here and there on, on forums or things like that. But, um, 
so anyway, that, that that's sort of that. Um, but I'm so I I I I will get those videos done. The ESFJ and ESFP. I will finish that series, but clearly I can't really make promises about when that is going to happen because every time I, you know, because I'm pretty sure I've made promises like that, that it'll be done by the end of the month. And it's just like, nope, nope, it's, it's not. And I can't really explain why that is. Um, but I think really ultimately it just has to come down to, for whatever reason, I just don't. I guess I just don't want to do it. And I don't want anyone to panic me saying that, that like somehow I hate doing this. Um, though now you're all going to think that because I've, I've suggested it. <laughs> but don't panic. It's okay. I, I'm going to get them done and I do enjoy writing them because I learn a lot. I mean, I know I've said continually that I don't enjoy writing them. I, maybe I don't enjoy writing them, but I do enjoy being able to learn because that's a lot of what this is and what it's been from the beginning. And as I've kind of done more and more videos, I've realized that a lot of it is, this is a method and a very, very effective method for me to develop my own understanding of, of these concepts. Um, I don't go into writing the scripts like that. I go in trying to really explain things, but um, whenever I go in to write a script and try to describe these things, it makes the flaws in my reasoning all the more apparent. And it's, it's just like me talking. You've, people have noticed and, um, uh, and I, I make fun of myself a lot for it, but I'm continue. It's like continually starting and stopping like over and over, like in like a car that can't quite get its engine started. And, and I'm continually stopping myself and critiquing myself and apologizing. So that it takes me forever to say anything. I actually, um, Juan Sandoval, who wrote a book called, uh, cognitive types. Um, actually, I have it on the bookshelf over here. I'm gonna put another. I'm gonna put another plug in for it because I really do like it. It's uh, there. We go. Cognitive type. Um, the algorithm of human consciousness as revealed via facial expressions, and so it is. Um, it is the only that I know of really. It's the only attempt um, to combine Jungian typology and the notions behind um, reading, uh, reading facial expressions, like the minute expressions, and not just facial expressions, but also just the way that people speak, how they carry themselves. Um, and it's an attempt to be very scientific about it and try to say, okay, can we demonstrate a correlation between the underlying attitude and the behavior of your face? Because unlike sort of just regular everyday behavior of like that are normally tested, um, and those are supposed to be, uh, uh, external facts, which you can actually like empirically verify. Right. So, um, like what the, the MBTI, is meant what that the test or indicator is meant to do. So what cognitive type is trying to do um, is say, okay, well, can we find something that can be empirically validated, like say facial expressions? Because uh, can we determine like ticks or just little things that like little behaviors, which is kind of interesting that are unconscious pretty much um, and therefore kind of give you a more direct line of access to what the internal disposition is now. Um, there's been a lot of problems and things, but I'm not as up to date on uh, what the research is, but I do really appreciate the attempt. And also he's got some really good um, 
even just in the first part of the book, some very good uh, summer, summations of uh, uh, the ideas in Jungian typology. And um, yeah, it's, it's uh, so you can go to cognitivetype.com and you can uh, look up some of their stuff there. And I linked their YouTube channel and my resources on I'm not saying this is a plug, but dang it, what was I, why did I even bring that up? Oh, yes, because they were looking for, um, I believe it was on their site, they uh, were looking for people to submit, you, you could submit um, a video of yourself uh, answering certain suggested questions and um, you had to do it under certain conditions, and it has to be around a certain length. But you could submit it to them, and then they would send you back a report of what they thought, according to their system, your type was. And um, so I thought it was interesting, so I figured I might as well send in mine, because I, I had communicated with Juan Sandoval about the book uh, previously, and so we knew each other a little bit. And... So I figured it was the least I could do to add another um, um, another face to his attempt to, to see where this goes. And um, so I'm bringing that up because I think it's interesting that um, the report that I got back, and I told him, by the way, that because um, I knew that he knew that I typed myself as INFJ, and this obviously just unconsciously can mess with the results, but I did tell him, listen, I don't want you to regard that, um, which I, you know, I, I, I told him specifically, I want to know what you legitimately think. I don't want you to tell me I'm INFJ just so that I am impressed because that's not what I'm interested in. Um, and so the report that I got back, he's like, yeah, I, I do think you're correct with INFJ, but what's interesting is at least from what he looks at, and I think it, I think that it's, um, or whether or not you're into the notion of facial expressions or not, I think that it is a good insight. Uh, how did he put it? He said that there is clearly a combination of the, the behaviors or the micro expressions that are associated with NI, and there's definitely those of TI. And the way that he said this is that it was confusing for him to type me because it seemed like there were two types mashing up against each other, or rather the behaviors associated with two types mashing up against each other. And um, one of those was what seemed like more of an NI dominant type, more like the INFJ, but then the other was not INTP, but like just TI itself. And so the way he described it is that NI, and this is very much oversimplifying, but one of the marks of NI, according to Sandoval and, and his team, is uh, a tendency to, well, do what I'm doing right now, where I kind of start staring into the distance, and I'm not looking at anything in particular, um, and then I kind of just start rambling and I go on and on and on as I'm kind of trying to bring out this idea. Anyway, I'm, I'm probably butchering. I, I think I'm butchering their ideas, but the point was that that's what I tend to do. I tend to ramble and get these ideas out. But what was interesting to uh, Sandoval was that to a degree that he hadn't at least seen before really I continually, it's like my, well, oh, sorry, it's like my TI, to, for lack of better words, um, is unusually, I guess you could say strong, but I don't want to make it seem like it's somehow an advantage. It's something's going on where it's rising up a lot more than it seems to in his experience with other people and is continually interrupting me. <laughs> Because what happens is I'm continu you know, I'm going along and I'm continually stopping myself, especially when I'm unsure if I really know what I'm talking about. Um, 
whenever I'm entering unsure territory or what it comes down to is any kind of territory where I think that um, I might say something stupid or that someone might be able to get the upper hand on me and be like, wait a second, you said that. And I'm always stopping myself and trying to figure out how to how to say it, or I'll just lose train of thought. Anyway, I don't know. I thought it was interesting. I haven't done a good job of representing what they said, and I don't, I can't even remember why I brought that up. Um, I, I honestly just kind of wanted to make a video that was very open and kind of talking about things I've been thinking about. Um, Oh, I, I think it is because that was one of the problems with my scripts is that I'll critique myself so much while I'm trying to write it and be like, no, that doesn't quite make sense or this or that or, or, or the other thing. Um, switching kind of gears. Uh, so, you know, some of the other things that I've done, like the socionics conflict video or the starry laughter, the, you know, me making those, sorry, was, I guess, in part an attempt to um, try to get over the writer's block by maybe doing something else for a while, do some other kind of video. And um, so far it hasn't really worked, um, although I have nothing that I've put on the channel as of yet, but I have been doing a lot of thinking about these concepts and about Jungian typology and particularly about the axes. Um, so actually, I think the first thing that I'll say is that uh, I, I don't know because I haven't, I haven't heard back yet. So, um, there, there currently are plans for there to be a, um, uh, for celebrity types to put out a book that would be focused on the functions and on function axes. And I, some of my contributions are going to be involved in that book. Um, I haven't heard back anything yet about that, but, um, when I do, I'm obviously going to be advertising it and, you know, because, uh, for the sales and everything, and obviously I'm, I'm featured in the book. Um, I'm saying that first because, uh, right about the same time that, um, uh, they were contacting me about them doing this and asking for my permissions and, and how the royalties would work and whatnot whenever they got it done. Um, uh, I think something must have stalled production right about the same time that they were saying this, um, I was beginning, well, for a while now, I've been trying to create some kind of a, I guess, a compendium or like a, yet another attempt of mine to consolidate and bring together into a single connected whole everything that I kind of understand about the typology systems. Um, I was, you know, I, I've been kind of writing my own book. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to mention that because, uh, please, I don't know. Um, I don't know where that will go, but that's how I process information. And I guess I'm only mentioning that because I've been very proud of what I've done so far. Um, and I'd, I'd like to share it, but I want to make sure that, um, I don't know, that, that it's done. And I guess I'm, I don't know how, who will have watched all the way into this video. So now I'm starting to cut myself off before I say any more because I'm like, oh, I've already screwed up the video. But um, Anyway, whatever that turns into it would be something that I would be, if, you know, for instance, if I were to try to actually publish it as a book through whatever means, that would be something that I would be waiting a fair distance away 
from what celebrity types is doing or else because I whatever I do I don't want it taking away from what celebrity types is doing I don't want it to um, to undercut or anything um, maybe I'm not making any sense because people are probably like that's not how it would be at all I, I don't know why I think that I just anyway that's all even assuming that that's what I end up doing with it but um, maybe I've cursed myself by telling anybody about it but um, I don't know this is supposed to be a um, an open video uh, where I'm kind of trying to recount what I've been working on. So anyway, that was a very confusing ramble. I've gone all over the place. and But that's just kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I am very busy, but I am still working on typology. I'm still working on videos. Um, I try to be, I, I try to be active with answering comments and things. Um, I'm trying to think if there is anything else. Um, oh, there was something else. Oh, that's right. Well, anyway, I guess, um, uh, please don't be too mad if I do churn out another video, like another more official video before I bring out the revisit of the ESFJ, because that may happen. I've been, I had a stroke of insight and I've been working on something. I shouldn't say stroke of insight. Um, I've been working on a video that is meant to address at least some of the critiques that have been made about um, MBTI and Jungian typology and try to bring some things up that I haven't heard anywhere else because um, and also just because I know that there's people who would probably really appreciate that and there's quite a bit of um, uh, I guess anti-hype or I don't know I'm I have a headache and maybe I shouldn't be making this but um, yeah I, I think that's everything I guess there's a part of me that really kind of wants to be all like I'm writing a book guys I mean I tried writing books before this is the first one about typology but don't Please don't get all hyped up about it because I don't know what it'll turn into. It may very well just, I may decide that the best thing really to do is just make it into a series of videos at some point. Um, but anyway, for now, um, that's what I'm working on. So anyway, um, long video. Sorry you had to watch me wipe my nose, um, but I just wanted to make something so that you knew I was still here and uh, maybe there's something unconscious going on there. It's not just so you know that I'm here, it's just so that I feel like I'm, probably so that I feel like I'm still here. But uh, anyway, thanks so much for everything and um, for your support and uh, uh, for the people on my patron who um, I haven't produced anything for a while now and for for some reason people are still sending me money which I'm super thankful for obviously no hard feelings whatsoever for um, anybody who who wants to stop that if I take um, too long to do anything I mean <laughs> don't feel bad um, I know that there's plenty who, who don't feel bad anyway um, you know, I totally, I totally understand, and it's a lot less stress for me if I can just feel like, you know what, that's, that's something that's there, and I, like, I don't know how to express the appreciation I have for it, because, um, I, you know, it's just, uh, it's just really cool, but, um, anyway, I think that's everything, uh, so I will sign out. Sorry it's that this is all I've got right now, but um, hopefully I'll be able to at least be putting some, some things out. Um, if anyone's watched this, well, I don't know. I guess I'll just do what, what my heart takes me to do. Um, and uh, I'm sure there'll be people 
there to enjoy it. So anyway, thank you.